Well, botanical art is sort of a hybrid between science and art, in addition to uh, final work having to be aesthetically pleasing and good to look at. It has to be scientifically correct, so you have to show all the botanical details of the plant that you're um, capturing. The kind of people that are drawn to botanical art, you might think that people have to be very patient, but um, there's kind of a challenge to it. Uh, there's so much learning that goes on, and um, it's just an extremely enjoyable way to spend your time. Plants are ephemeral. Some things bloom just for an hour or two, and then the petals fall off. So you're in constant search of a specimen that tells you the story that's germane to that particular plant. What view, what drawing, really is most authentic to that plant and best tells the story? And it is probably about a third of the way done. I'm prob it's a, I think I have, this is my fourth layer of watercolor that I'm putting down. So I have quite a few more to do. I'm building its form right now, its three-dimensional aspect, and um, once you get that foundation down, then you, you continue to correct the color and, or make more statements about the color and begin to work on some of the details. But I am still working on the form, getting the very lows, low tones down, the darkest tones, and then protecting the highlights from a lot of paint. Botanical accuracy is where we begin. And because we're, we're giving very important information about something that is alive and can be seen by others, and we don't want them to be confused about what they're viewing. But it's up to us to make it artistically interesting, not in a way that compromises the accuracy, but that tells the story of the plant. But accuracy is first and foremost the primary, because so many plants are closely related to each other and you could give bad information if you didn't really adhere to the accuracy part of it. <laughs>